Hello, welcome to this Crypto Professor analysis video of XRP or Ripple. Ripple is actually the third or fourth largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization behind Bitcoin, Ethereum and Tether, if you include the stablecoin Tether in that metric. Currently trading at around about 25 cents. It's got $11.5 billion market cap and a trading volume over 24 hours of about $2.2 billion. One thing to notice about Ripple is it is quite controversial as a cryptocurrency. It is not pre-mined. 100 billion tokens exist and they are majority controlled by Ripple Labs or Ripple LLC. 45 billion of those tokens are in general circulation. The other 55 are held by Ripple Labs and they release them uh, according to their release schedule, which has partners. So over the counter partners who they sell large quantities, a billion at a time to institutions to utilize for their liquidity situation. So one of the main attractions of Ripple is that you can send huge amounts of capital. So hundreds of millions of dollars for a fraction of the cost. So that would cost very, very little to send huge amounts of liquidity effectively around the world. So if you have multiple banks in multiple, multiple jurisdictions, you can send huge amounts of capital for very, very low fees and avoid the swift banking system, basically, which would cause a lot of pain for individuals and institutions who are trying to get that liquidity over international borders. Looking at the bear metrics, we can see that there was an all time high back in January 2018, along with most other cryptocurrency projects around at the time of $3.40 and an all time low back in May 2014, very, very low price for Ripple. The majority of Ripple was actually purchased around that two to three dollar range. Um, so there are a lot of people today who are hodling Ripple hoping that it's going to see a higher high than the $3.80 that we saw back in January 2018. I'm a little bit on the fence with Ripple, personally. I think that there is a chance that it may be a long-term project, but then again, the sentiment has never been lower. If we do see another parabolic movement of the type that we saw back in January 2018, then my price target would be $4.50 to $5.50, or more specifically $4.46 to $5.65 for that next parabolic movement. However, I have to caveat that with several strong assertions. There hasn't been a significant rally in Ripple since it was first launched around about the January 2018 price spike that happened with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Since then, we've had small spikes, but we haven't actually had anything of significance and profits have been taken very, very quickly whenever there has been a large dramatic price spike. That tells me a couple of things. One, it tells me that a lot of people are trading it rather than, you know, buying it and using it. And also that there is a kind of culture of fear around Ripple and people are kind of trying to get as many coins as possible to average down so that over the long term they are more profitable. So for example, if you dollar cost average all the way down here and here and here and here, by the time you get down here, your break even may be somewhere in the region of 70 cents, which means that if we do see 70 cents, you can sell out and take your profit or break even basically. One thing to notice about Ripple in particular is it is very heavily dependent on news. This price spike was actually caused by the news of Ripple's movements all the way to $3.80. So this price spike was actually responsible for that. Then we've got other price spikes, which actually happen to coincide with these spikes. The dates match and they do coincide. So there is a lot of attention on the Ripple news stories and it's very a newsworthy token. Uh, when the price moves, it's because something has been said, something positive, they've signed a new partnership, they have had a regulation win, um, and the price responds accordingly. Okay, so it is a very news hungry token. But if you compare it with Bitcoin, you can see in Ethereum that it is the lowest out of the three. In actual fact, all those spikes kind of fade into insignificance. 
when you contrast it with Bitcoin and Ethereum even. Bitcoin obviously taking the news headlines this year very much so with its halvening process and also recently a lot of people have been very very bullish about Bitcoin as covered in my other videos. But at the moment you can see that Ripple does kind of pale in comparison to the search terms and interest over time on Google Trends uh, about different cryptocurrencies. But I just wanted to mention that because these price spikes may look like there's trying to be a recovery, but it merely is just news stories that are causing the ebb and flow of bulls and bears. I just wanted to take a look at some statistics that might lie behind the transaction data and the reason for this kind of tail off and what might contribute to another dramatic price increase over the course of the next couple of years. Okay. So let's look at the actual trading data behind XRP. You can see here we've got a breakdown of all the different types of trades that are happening on all the different types of exchanges. And we can actually scroll down. Obviously, Binance is the market leader here. We can actually scroll down all the way down to something called XRP Ledger. Now, this is actually the use case for Ripple. These are the transactions that are actually being bought and sold in US dollars and other major tokens in order to provide liquidity. And you notice that the actual volume is only 0.3% of the daily traded volume. So the use case for Ripple is actually leaving a lot to be desired. It's only 0.3% of the total daily transactions. The rest are speculations, traders, hodlers, just keeping up with the price and increasing their exposure to this asset class. In an ideal world, in order to get that price spike, we would need to see this increase significantly uh, to maybe 10 or 20% in order to see that nice price spike that a lot of Ripple holders are holding out for. Again, with the transaction data, we can see that generally it's around about a million per day. 859 977 etc there were some price spikes back in 2019 but these were caused by people manipulating the market um, wash trading if you were in actual fact we can go to the chart and if we were to zoom in on 2019 you can see that these there was a period of dramatic volatility in the market where we actually had a quite significant price movement over the summer and that can be reflected in the network data. So this is around about November 2019. If we look over here, we can actually see considerable price fluctuations in both the summer and towards the winter, where we actually see the price fluctuates more than it would. And if I zoom in even further, that becomes even more apparent. So we had this kind of wash, wash of the market where people wanted to increase their exposure without paying too much. So they shorted here and then we bought back here and you're able to effectively double your amount of XRP that you hold. But that was manipulation of the market. And there are mechanisms for Ripple to penalize people who do do washing of the market. And that looks to have stopped recently. But again, 1 million transactions a day is not particularly very high. I would like to see this climb to maybe at least 10 to 20 million in order to have that price spike that I would want for anyone holding Ripple over the long term. Let's now look at a little bit more recent price data, okay, just to give you a flavor of where the price might go over the next couple of months. Now, since March 2020, in line with all other cryptocurrencies, all major cryptocurrencies, we have been in a bullish trend. This red line here indicates a bullish trend. We're now intersecting with long term bearish sentiment, which goes all the way back to September 2018 and even a little bit before then. We've touched this line three times at least uh, more recently as well. And we can actually see that this is very now narrow between the bullish sentiment and the bearish sentiment. So I would need to zoom in further to see here. This descending channel is probably invalidated now by this bullish trend because we have had quite a nice long bullish trend. But if we do break here, there is a risk that we will come down to potentially 10 cents or even lower than that 
um, if the price action does indicate that we are going to break here okay so I'm looking very intently the picture is very unclear at the moment because we don't have too much data to work on but what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit further and see if we can look at something a little bit more in detail on a shorter time frame one thing I also want to mention is the volume data behind the price at the moment is at an all-time high so that's a usually a good indication but if there is a slip and if there is a drop in the volume then the price could collapse as a result down to that sub 10 cent range that I mentioned earlier however with the volume being at all-time high that is also a case for a breakout so we theoretically could see a nice breakout to the upside and defeat this bearish sentiment that we've had in the market for quite a while and with cryptocurrencies becoming very very popular over the last couple of months particularly bitcoin and maybe ethereum then ripple could get a halo effect from that price action movement in other cryptocurrencies and actually break out for the long term which would be something it hasn't done for quite some time zooming in now this is a weak chart so quite a powerful chart um, for speculating on price action and we can actually see that there is a reverse what's known as a reverse head and shoulders here okay so this is a shoulder this is the head and this is another shoulder head and shoulder patterns are usually used to indicate trend reversals so this is a trend this blue line here is a trend and this green line is a trend and what we do is we bounce between these two regions and the trend has a direction this is a bearish trend line so this head and shoulders pattern could indicate that this trend is coming to an end and if we do breach above this green line which is the bearish trend line we could smack right into the 100 day EMA exponential moving average at around 32 cents so my recommendation for anyone who's trading ripple here is actually to wait and see what happens here if we break underneath this red line chances are we're going to come down and I would sell I wouldn't short because it's just too risky being at the bottom of the market if we do break above this green line then there's a long entry between 27 cents and 32 cents where you'll be able to capture some profit whether we break higher than that over the long term I'm not so confident I've noticed that there are a couple of metrics which can tell us information like RSI doesn't really tell us much at the moment it is relatively high but then there's not much data to go on on a day chart once again we have room to maneuver to the upside which supports the hypothesis that we will see a breakout but again it's not concrete okay on the MACD once again we have been higher we've crossed over on this and theoretically we are we are now making a little recovery to potentially cross over again and if that does cross over we could see a higher high in which case we may breach the 32 cent region and climb higher but as I say a reverse head and shoulders pattern potentially ending this bearish trend channel with the potential to break out so effectively the chances are quite high of a breakout they haven't been higher we're using this which is the 50-day EMA as support at the moment quite nicely we've been hovering around that region now for around about six or seven weeks so that's a long period of consolidation on the price it's refusing to go below this line which is a good indication and this line theoretically looks weak if you combine it with the data from the MACD and potentially the RSI and the volume data in particular so that's a brief summary about Ripple at the moment. Again, it's a very confusing coin. It's a very controversial coin and it needs to have some kind of bullish action to get it back in people's good books. There are a lot of people who have been holding Ripple now for two or three years who haven't seen any return on their investment yet. I think it is a long term project and I think it is here to stay and I think it does have a very good management behind it. But then again, we haven't seen any bullish activity now for quite some period of time but then is it a sleeping giant is it going to wake up one day and everyone's going to think goodness me I wish I'd have bought more ripple I think that is more likely than it going to zero and failing as a project so I would be cautious I would diversify I would ensure that you have sub ripple but just don't put all of your eggs in one basket
If you've enjoyed this video and would like to get $25 of CRO completely for free, please sign up to Crypto.com using our referral link in the description on this video. The Crypto Professor likes feedback. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it. If you'd like more of the same, please don't forget to subscribe. Or if you have questions, please post them in the comments and I'll endeavour to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.